Hi there, this is Derivatives 4, and uh, basically all I'm going to talk about in this uh, video is the product rule. And, uh, well basically, here, here's the situation. Uh, what if, okay, you had y equals uh, f of x times g of x. So two separate functions, okay, and you can't simplify them, so two simple functions. And you're I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, hey, well, well, can't I, can I just, uh, do the, some little shindig and, and get, uh, f prime of x, just do them independently, just like we did in, uh, arithmetic when we were adding them or subtracting them. And, and the reality is, the answer is no. Uh, that, you can't do that. Um, it, it's, it turns out in, absolutely incorrect, and, uh, Basically, what we have to use is, is something called the product rule. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that down. Product rule, okay? And um, it's widely known as that. Uh, some people call it the multiplying rule or whatnot, but um, it's all the same. And the rule states that y for y equals f of x times g of x, the uh, y prime is going to equal f prime times g plus uh, f g prime. So as you can see that uh, this form is actually useful to uh, to keep around even on like the edge of your homework or, or like at the top of your sheet or something. That way um, you can kind of just reference this and use this as a guide and allows us to really just systematically break down any problem that we can run into. Uh, especially as the problems get more and more complicated. Let's take a situation that we understand, though. Um, we already understand from a previous example. Uh, one of them, which would be, um, let me just get write that down. Example, right? And uh, y equals x squared. We know this, right? Uh, but what if we split that x squared up? What is x squared? That's really x times x, right? So, what if I try and get the result, because we know that y prime of x squared is just 2x. We know that that's, we know that, right? So, we should be able to get the same thing using the x times x technique, right? Well, why don't we try doing your way, and then I'll explain it mine, okay? So... Your little, uh, your thought that you had up here. Y equals f of x times g of x, okay? That's what we have. So, I'm going to say f of x is x, and g of x is x. So, f prime of just f prime x is going to equal... 1, right? And g prime x is equal 1. So, if your little, uh, I'm going to call it cool rule, is uh, true, then this should equal 2x. But, as we find out, that when y prime, uh, or wait, yeah, when y prime is worked out that way, you're going to get f prime, uh, or f prime x and g prime x, when you put that in here, you're going to get 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. Well, 1 is not equal to 2x, sadly. Would have made our lives a lot easier. So we got to try the product rule, so you're going to try it my way. Let me put a little false, false, just as a reminder for you, a little sad face to remind you. So then we find that we're going to use the product rule. So I'm going to write that down. Product rule. And what that is, is y prime equals, remember, f prime g plus f regular g prime. Okay? So, use the same little, like, clouded area that, I, that we made earlier. f prime, right? 1 
g is x plus f, which is x, g prime, which is 1, equals x plus x, which is 2x. True! And notice that that's exactly what we had uh, found earlier, up here. So, there's other ways of um, essentially breaking down uh, many things, but that's the key one, and that's all I really want to focus on. And you'll actually be able to use this when we touch on the topic of quotients, the quotient rule, but um, just realize that you can break down about 80 or 90 percent of your problems using that kind of technique, the product rule. But anyway, I'll see you in the examples portion. Hopefully I can clear this up for you.